What is up, my beautiful people? Um, see, I got a haircut. Uh, today, we are installing some more off-road lights. Um, so, I wanted to do this install tonight. So, I had to do, I got to get whatever I could get. And I ended up getting two little short light bars instead of getting one longer light bar. Uh, we're gonna be installing amber ones this time. What the hell is this? Why did it send it like that? Hey! Alright, um... More nightlight. They should sponsor me at this point. Go ahead and open it. These are pretty heavy. Try not to cut any of these wires. Because these are like three wires. I do not want to deal with that. These are two six and a half inch uh, amber light bars. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to mount them up on this little area down there. Uh, amber light bars are good for dust and rain. And you know, those ditch lights are for just seeing and blinding people. Uh, it's just me tonight. John's about to leave, he's very exhausted. Makes sense, he was working all day. But it's basically the same concept as the ditch lights, same brand. So we're gonna go ahead. First thing we're gonna do is figure out how we're gonna mount these. Like where exactly. Uh, I'm gonna take this down there and I'll show you. We're gonna try to figure it out. All right, down here. This is this is where we're mounting it, right here. Uh, I have a light in here. About like a, like a campsite light. That, really good deal actually. I think it was like 20, 30 bucks. And it's like super bright. But I have it on the lower setting right now. Just cause I need to shine down here. have them somewhere around here. I don't know exactly how I'm going to zip time. I don't want to go too crazy because I still do need to paint all this. So I'm going to go ahead and start figuring this out. I'm going to grab all the zip ties. Just fair warning, this is going to be very ghetto. side on and then I'll be right back. All right, uh, this one was a lot harder to get on because like one of the parts on that side that was easy it was like bent on that side. So it's uh, it was like harder to get to. Uh, I cut myself on the truck, but it's all right. So next is trimming up the zip tie so you don't see all the like extra strands and then wiring it up and testing it out. Um, it's hot, I'm hot. I don't know why, but that shouldn't be too much longer. They look stupid, of course, but this whole truck looks stupid. It's just the mess around daily driver. Um, I honestly don't even think I'm going to do anything to it. Maybe just change wheels out. I don't even know if I'm going to lift it. And just keep it as a work truck, you know? Because eventually I do want to get an actual project car, which I do have one in mind. There's another one that's like a maybe, which would be a lot cooler. It's like a maybe I can get it. I know someone with this car, but it's it's like, it's a whole weird situation. But this other one so far, I think we're gonna go with that. I just need to like move out or my brother move out. I just need the room and money for it. And then project car. Um, but yeah, let me set y'all up in a different spot, start wiring it up. I'm gonna have to, most likely gonna have to like solder and stuff. Not solder, uh, heat shrink wires together. I did buy extra wire and heat shrink tube. Uh, hopefully my lighter has enough food in it. Um, 
But yeah, uh, let's get to it. I'm leaving my blood all over this cardboard that I'm on. As you guys see, this light lights up the whole engine bay. And this is the low mode. Um, so as you see, uh, power and ground over here. Battery's on the complete opposite side of the corner. Uh, the ground, I don't really, you know, that doesn't really matter where it goes. It just needs to be on bare metal. And then the power, I will extend the line. Um, I'll probably run it through the front so I can hide it under this plastic and it looks cleaner. Because I'm sure you can see the ditch light ones, it doesn't look that clean. But the hood's going to be closed when they're on, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so for now, I just need to make sure nothing touches the ground wire. Or the ground wire doesn't touch anything, anything there. So I'll probably tape it down to this, to be honest. While I strip this, well cut, strip, and then extend. Uh, extend. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna once again look at the text Bryce sent me to make sure I don't blow myself up. And should probably connect the lights first. Like get those connected up and then and then we'll go from there. It did come with connectors. I forgot you had to connect the connectors to the wire and then I'm just an idiot. I completely forgot it's exactly the same like the other one. That is my fault. <laughs> but we got a so positive then negative. Alright. Connected up. I'm gonna make it look pretty. Don't worry. It is a very big mess over here. But now we're gonna test it. Uh, first, I'll show you the lights turning on. You see they are down there. And then I'll show you what it looks like out. Uh, hopefully they work. Right. Hey! It worked. Isn't it pretty bright? They're really bright, actually. 
Alright, all right, now we'll show you what it looks like the other direction. Uh, fair notice, it's probably going to be very loud. Uh, I know the last video was really loud, I tried solving it. Um, hopefully, me having the mic face this direction more is better. But let me go ahead and show it, turn it around and show you. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, this is, I'm not like broken or anything, that's just dirt or whatever, smudged on my face, grease. Um, so just to recap on all this, the ditch lights pointed outwards and up, they are to shine light. They're supposed to make my visibility more, uh, more to the left and right of me and then up and then just in front as well. And though they're white and they are just light, okay? These new ones, these amber lights, they are mainly meant for dust. So like, you know, you're on like a dusty trail, Baja, desert, sand, all that. Um, but apparently they're so good for rain and fog. fog if, I don't, if you guys remember, older cars, the fog lights were yellow and now they're LEDs, white, but now I have that. Um, gonna, you know, in Florida here we get, so we sometimes get some pretty bad rain, so it's gonna be good to have that. Um, and then if we ever go to Corbett at night, which I do plan on going to soon, uh, unfortunately this weekend is, well, fortunately this weekend, sunsets are starting to go back to 7, 8 p.m., which is going to be harder to go to Corbett because it was easier to go to Corbett when, you know, it got darker earlier, but we, we didn't get to do that. So soon enough, hopefully, um, there's still plenty of things I need to do to the truck, main thing being paint. But there is one little surprise thing, which we'll probably be doing soon. I just need to buy like two more parts for it. Um, I think you guys will enjoy that. But let me go ahead and show you ditch lights and amber lights. All right, so now like I said, I'm gonna do one at a time and then together, I'm gonna do ditch lights first, turn them off, do amber lights first, turn them off, and then I'll turn both of them on. So let me do that real quick. Another successful install. It took about an hour and a half, not, not too bad. Um, but I got a lot of cleaning up to do. I am absolutely filthy. Oh, camera shows it not as dirty, but my hands are fucking covered in grease. Um, yeah. yeah, time to clean up. It's ghetto, but it works. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you when I see you.